is up YouTube, Hannah Mandala here and I'm back with a brand new video. Today's videos are gonna be a bit different. I'm gonna bring you along for a day in the life that my partner and I have here in Mexico City. If you do not know, I am a digital nomad. I live and work in Mexico City from my laptop with my partner and we had a plan here initially to be here for three months but we cut it down to just a month and a half. And today's video is about all the things that we don't really like about Mexico City. So make sure you stick to the end, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. I come out with a new video every single Tuesday and now I'm coming out with this new vlog series. All right, so right now we are down in the Centro Historical, so the Historical Center of Mexico City. And we came down here to buy a new camera lens for my camera. We're, my lens is broken. We're currently filming on my iPhone 10, but yeah, we didn't have any luck with that. They're all kind of knockoffs. So now we're gonna go to a large, a large square. It's called Zoblaco or something. I'm not too sure what it's called, but we're gonna go there. Okay, so before coming to Mexico City, I was really excited. If you look at all the other movie reviews on YouTube, people are ecstatic about Mexico City. They have nothing but raving reviews. So I was like, okay, this city's gonna be amazing. So today we're gonna show you guys the really touristy spots and then we'll show you like the real Mexico City that we've been living in. But yeah, so right now we're in a giant independent square. Yep, beautiful. And then right over here is the <laughs> the cathedral? <laughs> and then back over there, if you just like go yonder, there's pyramids. There's old Aztec pyramids. like that Aztec style right there. And yeah, so there's a lot going on right here in this area, there's lots of shops and cafes and things you can buy. And the streets are super colonial-like and artistic and they remind me of what I like saw in Europe. And Yeah, but that, that's not Mexico City. That's not the Mexico City that I've experienced over the past month and a half. So let's go, let's go check out the other Mexico City. Mexico City that is really difficult to get adjusted to is the constant noise and how loud everything is. Just listen. <laughs> it's normally loud. <laughs> it is loud. <laughs> Another reason why Mexico City is not our cup of tea is because we like to walk places and then when we try to walk places we're dealt with this kind of situation where the road is really crowded and the sidewalk is really crowded and you have to squeeze in between all the people because there's always a constant flow of people and it's not a very relaxing type thing and there's so much going on it's, it's kind of tense. quiet areas of Mexico City that a lot of people are like, oh no, you just need to go to the right parts, which is true. There are quiet neighborhoods that are really nice, like La Condesa, Palanco, Ro um, Ro Roma Norte, 
those ones are really good except those are just little pockets of Mexico City and we're trying to show you the real Mexico City outside of those pockets and as you guys saw it was pretty hectic in the market there so we're going to we got into an uber and we're going to our favorite vegetarian vegan restaurant yeah it's like an hour walk or like 40 minutes in uber so that's what we're doing taking an uber okay so we're at our favorite restaurant Yod. so i mentioned in the uber that ride that it was an hour walk here or 40 minutes in an uber and I mean, it wasn't that big of a difference, only 20 minutes, but like energy-wise, as you guys saw, uh, it's super busy here all the time in Mexico City, and it's super draining to walk and exert yourself in that kind of crowded atmosphere for an hour. So that's why we hopped in the Uber and came here. And now, um, now we're gonna order some delicious food. Twenty million people here. It's the largest city in North America, so uh, that's definitely something worth mentioning. And then also, we're here in late November, and the weather is really good right now. And then the wet season. If you guys are like, hmm, when should I come to Mexico City? The wet season is from July to October, and it usually rains a lot in the afternoons. And that's when we first arrived here. It was in October, and it rained a lot. But October, I mean November, December, it's good weather. So t-shirts and jeans. <laughs> Okay, so we just had our lunch dinner thing, as you guys saw, and highly recommend that. It's my, our, by far our favorite vegan restaurant that we have found in, in Mexico City. So we're gonna head home now. We were gonna head to the park, Bosque de Chipotec, um, but we're just feeling really tired after being in all the traffic. But uh, I just want to point out that there is a big central park here. It's like the Central Park of Mexico City, which is really nice to go to. We love going there. We like to feed the squirrels and they have a, a man-made lake where you can uh, go boating and stuff. So that's pretty fun. But yeah, overall, right now we're on Paseo de la Forma and that's one of the, it's one of the main um, streets for, I don't know, walking and stuff. Yeah, overall Mexico City has not been our cup of tea. We're more into the beach life, kind of laid back, wanting to be able to walk everywhere rather than needing to get in an Uber every time you want to go somewhere for 40 minutes. Um, yeah, and then walking here just isn't very pleasant as you guys saw. Uh, so we're gonna call the Uber soon. And oh, another big thing about Mexico City that people really love is the food and the alcohol. But I'm not able to really speak on that because I, yeah, Alex and I are plant-based and I, I don't know, like, there's lots of tacos, El Pastor that people rave about and mezcal and everything, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't eat or consume any of that. So I can't speak on that, but I heard it's good. But yeah, I, I don't, we don't like Mexico City. We're going, we're leaving in a week. We're gonna go somewhere else, back to beach life. Uh, it actually feels like a downgrade coming to Mexico City as compared to like Mexican beaches. But if you're into like, a, if you want to experience a mega city, Mexico City's definitely for you. List everything below that I mentioned so you guys can Google it yourself and see. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'm gonna see you with my next video. Thank you.